In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold a modular star called Hilly, designed by Klaus Dieter Ennen. Diagrams can be found on Klaus Dieter's website www.origamist.de. And Klaus Dieter also published a book uh, called The Biggest Ever Book of Origami Stars, which features 117 star models, both from single sheets and um, modulars. Now this, uh, this star right here isn't actually included in the book because it's a brand new design, but diagrams, as I mentioned, are on Klaus Dieter's website. And uh, this star also nicely shows off Klaus Dieter's style. Now here you can see I, I folded this star and I threaded it so that you can actually hang it perhaps from a Christmas tree or something like that. And when you do different colors and different sizes, you can kind of do a nice constellation. Now, to fold this model, you will need five sheets of paper. Just for pro um, demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using five different colors. But as you can see here, I used the same co color all around. And depending on what effect you like, you can either choose different colors or the same color. Now, if you start with a square sheet, that has a side length of seven and a half centimeters or three inches, then the resulting star will have a diameter, so that's kind of this distance, the distance of the circle around the points. That's about going to be um, 10 centimeters or four inches. And uh, here you can see I have colored tips and a, a silver inside. Um, if you're going to start with uh, just one module, you're going to start with the side up that's going to be in the center. So for me, I'm going to make a white center with blue tips. So I'm going to start with the white side up. Now I'm going to zoom in so that you can see better what I'm actually doing. Now we're going to start by folding in half diagonally, bringing point to point and making a crease. Then we're going to rotate and take the raw edge and bring it to the center crease. Then flip over the paper and repeat, which gives you a kite base. Now we're going to open this up and we're going to um, lie the paper flat on the table and take this lower tip and bring it to the upper tip. And you really want to have it lying flat on the table so that the paper doesn't drift. Now you're going to take this edge right here and bring it over to the edge, bending it over and making a crease. If you didn't have this model lying flat while folding up this tip, then there might be uh, some paper tension here. So try to avoid uh, the paper drift and then there won't be that tension when folding in these sections. Now we um, are going to take uh, this tip and lift it. We're going to bring this edge over to that edge and crease just up to that central line. So I'm going to take it and then add a crease just up to the central line. And unfold and repeat on the other side. And again crease. Now we're going to unfold this and now we're going to take this edge right here, this raw edge, and bring it to the center line, folding in that paper, forming the colored tip. Same thing on the other side. Just like that. Now we're going to fold in half on this side while 
letting that fold together just like this. And now to shape the center so that you kind of have this slanted edge right here, we're going to uh, take this top layer and fold it so that there's a crease going from this point right here down to that point right there. And you can vary this to change the look of the star because this is really just um, a shaping detail. And it does give quite a nice look if you fold it this way, I think. Now we want to fold that inside. So we're going to open this up again. And then we're going to lift this a bit and fold along the crease to the inside. You can see here there's going to be a little crease forming because as you can see here the paper overlaps a little, just in case you're wondering. So again, just bring it to the inside and close it. And then we're going to close this module again and then the first module is done and we need five of these. So again, we're going to start with the center color on the top, crease diagonally, then bring the raw edge to the central crease, rotate, oh, flip over, sorry, and then repeat, then unfold, bring the lower tip to the top, crease, bring that edge to the tip, you just fold it upwards on both sides, then start a crease that just goes to the center, same thing on the other side, unfold, Bring the raw edges to the center line on one side and the other side. Fold together and then shape the center by basically folding the paper as far as it will go while pressing down this, um, this flap right here. Then open up again to fold inside that paper, creating small new creases in the inside of the model, just hiding paper, and refold. And repeat three more times. Now, once you've completed the last module, you're going to unfold these two sections again because um, we'll just have to uh, kind of make the star 3D with the final module or the first module and for that we need these unfolded. So I'm going to start with this and this is going to be where the last module is added. And then I'm going to take um, another module here and basically this area right here slides into that area right there and you'll want that tip to go all the way to that tip. And you could open all of these, but actually it's easier to simply slide them inside. And if you w really want to check, you can kind of slightly open this to see how far you have to slide it in to get that nice precision. And here you can see I've kind of slid it all the way to the top and then I can completely close it again. And then we're going to add the next one. Again, take the section, slide it inside, and go all the way to the top, and close. It's really quite easy, but also very stable, which is something I appreciate a lot in modular designs, when the locking mechanism is very good. And again, open this up a little, slide it inside, 
and slide it all the way to the top until you can see that tip emerging and then close it up completely. And the final one, we're going to slide it inside as before all the way to the top. Let me quickly check. It's kind of stuck a little. Sometimes it gets stuck a little. If that's the case, you know, just check that. Everything is okay. Perhaps unfold it just a little bit and then collapse. And then for the final one, you're going to bring this section as before to the center of the module. And then you're going to press it together and as you can see this is flat and then it turns 3D. This is flat and it turns 3D by pushing it together and then you're going to push inside that first flap and the second flap. And then your modular star, Hilly, is all done, designed by Klaus-Dieter Ennen and isn't it beautiful and as I mentioned I just kind of took um, a needle and thread and went through one of these points kind of in the center right there you can take silver or transparent I used black in this case because I was taking a picture on black background and, um, and then you can hang it from your tree or from a door or whatever and if you um, like this book, I guess I should mention this um, is called in German Der große Origami Sternenhimmel, but it's in German and English, although, you know, the diagrams usually don't have a lot of text. If you enjoyed this model, I'm sure you'll also enjoy the book, um, and I wish you happy folding. Bye-bye.